So I've taken a little road trip down to Wine Thaggy to check out some vintage shops. Behind me is my first stop, and let's see if I can find some slot car goodness. <laughs> So let's take a walkthrough of the Funky Pickers Shed located in Wonthaggy here in Victoria, Melbourne, Australia. Now I've gone toy slot car hunting, but as soon as you walk in, you're overwhelmed by how much different collections are on offer. Now this is a private collection that's sold to the public, so everything you see the owner owns, and of course it's a shop, so it's open to the public to purchase. But the amount of stuff on offer from toys to clocks to statues to signage to you name it is incredible so let's have a look together so that was the first room that's the entry where you walk in then you're greeted by this massive space which again i was blown away i think where do i look but then i saw this glass cabinet full of die cast toys so let's have a quick look together matchbox hot wheels there's some racing champs in there which are good to see and i think they were micro racing champs which is quite unique a couple of slot cars in here which we'll take a close look some mazetto some more hot wheels stuff a lot of loose items i'm a huge loose car collector because if you can't find it packaged you might as well buy it loose and here are four Tyco Glow in the Dark HO Corvette slot cars. Did I grab them? No, I didn't. I think I already have some here, but it was really cool to see some kind of slot car stuff on offer. So we have some more die cast cars, some marble branded stuff, which again is pretty cool to see. You don't see much of this on our pegs here in Australia anymore, so vintage shops are the way to go. Some more Hot Wheels. These are from the 90s, a couple of Star Wars, which are only about five or six years old, but a couple of stuff is from the 90s, so it's good to see some old stock hanging on the shelves. Now, I do have a lot of die-cast cars in my own collection, so I didn't pick up any today because it's really hard to tell what I don't have. And there was more boxes just full of cars. Incredible. Picked out a couple of favourites, I think, because I thought they'd be good for the camera. A tuned Lamborghini. I think it was a V-Dub bug that I really did like. That one there looks good. And again, some more die-cast cars. A nice vintage Australian matchbox set. I do like those. Some older, bigger toys. So if you are into the bigger stuff, there is some bigger toys here. I don't know what the brands were. Now these pins and badges are AFL footy, so for you watching around the world, this is our national sport, AFL football. And we did have some Matchbox cars that were branded in our teams. Some bigger Corvettes, these were really, really nice in person. Had some toys, and I did say there's everything on offer, and sorry for the glare, it was really hard to get some good footage without getting some glare. So if you are a figure toy collector, you had a lot on offer in the shelving. Mr. Pinhead himself, a very scary mask. And some more Hot Wheels, which they become quite rare. We have the Stig with a fire truck. I don't think he was driving that. to another shelf full of figures and Pez dispensers. It had everything. It was overwhelming about how much stuff was on offer here. I do recommend popping in whether you're a toy collector, pottery, whatever it may be, comics. He had a lot of stuff. Some old trading cards. And some more Hot Wheels. Now here in Australia, for those watching around the world, Hot Wheels is definitely very collectible. The die-cast car scene here in Australia is huge, so that's why you will see a lot of die-cast cars. Some plastic kits, good to see some older plastic kits. So 
some retro video games. Now I'm a huge retro video game collector and some more Hot Wheels and some toys. And a blue Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Some Atari, Nintendo DS. Really cool to see. Some more Matchbox cars, a couple of older ones. There was a lot of stuff that was for sale that I didn't know much about, but I did try and film as much as I could, just in case there's other collectors out there watching. A knife collection, there was some lighters, heaps of different collections, bottle openers, some more cars, different brands. One of my favorite displays was the loose display, which we're looking at now. I'm a huge collector of loose cars or die cast cars. There's a lot of gems in here, a lot of older stuff. But I do like how it's color coordinated. If anyone out there with OCD, it's very color coordinated. But I always say, if you do find a car that you don't have packaged and you found it loose, definitely pick it up because you might not, never find it again. Some more track stars, nice Vodafone F1 car. And took a quick little walk through the back room. This is just a quick walk through because there wasn't any die cast cars or slot cars out here, but there were a lot of interesting items that I tried to capture on camera. It is a very big place. So I did speed it up here so I can get through the back, but if you are Australian, there's a nice Vegemite tin. For those watching around the world, I'll give you the Vegemite challenge. If you can have a spoonful of that without throwing up, you are a champion and it's a staple diet that's a staple food that we eat here in Australia. So this is the back of the store there's a lot of tools and heavy equipment and items out here so I'll try to film as much as I can. Again if you're a different kind of collector there's definitely something here for you. Some more man cave hanging material, some older petrol stations, just incredible. Some of this stuff look really, really good. There's a lot of items if you do have a man cave or a room you want to dress up, a lot of items on hand. Some older toys, I think they were some Tonka toys. Some more signage, blown away by how much signage is on offer. Again, you can dress up 20 man caves with this stuff. CDs and records had a fair collection. Now, I'm not an expert at the records or the CDs, but I, I do recognize some of these artists, so it's probably worth popping in and having a look through. And then last but not least, we looked at some board games, and then I came across three slot car sets. TCR, which is a slotless slot car set, so you can control the slot car around the track. It's running on rails, not a slot. Power passes, which is the same as a TCR, it's a slotless slot car set, so you can steer the car through the corners and on the straights. And then last but not least, and last but not least was the Go Sideswipers slotless slot car set. Now all three sets were very similar, all slotless slot car sets, but unfortunately they weren't all complete. I did crack them open to have a look inside and the power passes had this beautiful slot car, only one of them, but it was in really good condition. And also I did crack open the TCR set, I think this was, and it had all three cars. Unfortunately, the camera decided to play funny buggers on me. So that was our look at the funky pickers. I tell you what, if you're a die cast collector, this is the place to go. Yes, we found three slot car sets. Will I pull the trigger? I've got to double check what I've got at home, but really cool shop. So check it out if you're in Montaggy. Funky pickers. Oh, yeah. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat.